For those who often watch Catholic TV, we know there is one hit show on there, and it's Going My Way uh, with Paul Rouse and Father Chris Hickey. Uh, and inside there, I watch it often, he asks the priest, if you didn't become a priest, you know, what would you have become? Well, I think today, listening to me sing, we can establish it wouldn't have been a singer. <laughs> if you haven't watched the show, please check it out. It is a riot. Folks, good morning. Good morning. And today we hear today's gospel, uh, we hear the calling of the 12 apostles. And it's a little different than the other three Gospels. Yes, it's the same apostles who are called, obviously, but there is a little difference. But it is a big difference inside here. It's how Luke, uh, in its Luke's theme inside his Gospel, he really kind of goes off there, but he begins today's Gospel by saying that Jesus went to the mountain to pray. So what we establish from this is that before Jesus made that significant decision as to who to call his apostles, he prayed to God. So we sought God's divine counsel before he made that huge decision to do, do so. Before he goes and gives the Sermon on the Mount, what does he do? He's in a secluded place praying. So what we pick up from here is how important it is in the important moments in life that prayer be become part of that. I think of, you know, what would those important moments be that used to, we used to do that, but now probably not as much? Well, one of the things is uh, that um, my parents were engaged uh, at the Mission Hill Basilica, and um, they were engaged at uh, a novena, the novena for, to Our Lady of Petrol Help. What a brilliant decision was made inside those pews when my father asked God for counsel, and got a tremendous wife and a fantastic mother. <laughs> it was indeed a moment in which I tell you, my friends, that it's important. How many couples now, and there are some, but not many, who will actually bring themselves into a church to pray, to ask for counsel from the important things in life, especially if you're going to get married? How about when you just made that decision to start a family? You know, that would mean a pivotal moment inside your life. Wouldn't you want to sell, bring yourselves into prayer and for those moments? You know, if you're going for, if you're deciding that maybe you want to change occupations, wouldn't prayer be a very important place to first turn to in making that discernment? And yet in our society, we don't seem to be people who are people who are people of prayer, are, are people of prayer for the most part. And we lose something inside there. I would say of many religious education programs across this country, um, not all of them, but probably in many of them, uh, we would find that if we went to the kid, to the young boys and girls who were receiving their first Holy Communion, and I hate to say maybe even some who were being confirmed, if we asked them to recite the Hail Mary to us, they wouldn't be able to. Or to recite the Our Father to us, they wouldn't be able to. Is that not shocking? It really is. You know, we of our generation and those who are older, we realize and appreciate the importance of prayer. You know, my mother was quite unreasonable in that when we were little kids, all six of us had to go into the front room into the parlor and pray the rosary. But it was a great way to learn how to say the Hail Mary and say the Our Father. I know those prayers. They've helped me a great deal. And they've helped my brothers as well in their lives because they know how to make these say these prayers. Prayer is, the f is one of those foundations of holiness because it's conversation with God inside our lives. And we need to do that in such a great w in such a needy way. I happen to know that our pastoral associate uh, is on Facebook and she is uh, a friend of Father Reed, Bishop Reed, Bishop Reed, and she just received an email and he has placed on YouTube um, all the luminous mysteries that he recites. What a great idea that is. Now, folks, do you know, in my parish, St. Anne-by-the-Sea in Marshfield, we set up Catholic traveling prayers. And it's a little different in as much as it, it are the prayers, but they're not inside churches. They're actually outside in some very beautiful areas along the coastline of Southern California, Minnehaha State National uh, Park, which has a beautiful falls. We do a lot of waterfalls where we pray the rosary. We pray the divine chaplet. 
We, uh, we pray some novenas inside there. We pray the Angelus. You know, the bo in, inside Boston, remember the uh, swan boats? Well, they're gone right now, but if you wanted to see them again, all you would have to go to YouTube and go to Father Carmichael's Catholic Traveling Prayers, or, or just put Father Carmichael in the search bar YouTube, and guess what? You'd see all those prayers in the places. Wherever I go on business, I always bring a cam camcorder, and I find nice, beautiful places outside to recite the rosary, to recite all these other prayers. Why? Because prayers are so vitally important. And however it is that we can solicit folks to pray, we should find those opportunities. To go out there in God's beautiful nature and do it is uh, an awesome thing. One of the places I did it was in Wrexham Beach. And when I did it in Wrexham Beach, I did it on the edge of the water. I had no idea the tide was coming in. By the time I finished the rosary, I <laughs> was in my cassock, and the water was around my ankles at that point. Yes, if you don't believe me, go to YouTube. It's on there. Um, or just visit our parish website, www.stanns.net, and you'll find it there as well. I say this just to promote the importance of prayers. Catholic TV, it has a beautiful novena to Our Lady of Perpetual Help. I watch it, and I pray along with that. Father Reed, he does the Angelus. He does the Rosary as well. And at times I'll put that on and I'll watch that. Or Father Frank. Remember Father Frank? And I love Father Frank praying the rosary. Oh, wow, what a nice guy he is. And, you know, all these great ways to pray. We don't have to just pray by ourselves. Now with social media, there's so many opportunities for us to pray together. Remember today's gospel. And it just begins that Jesus went up to the mountain to pray. And he spent the night in prayer to God because he knew he was making a pivotal decision in the moment of the life of the church. When we get married, that's a pivotal decision in the life of the church. When we have children, that's a pivotal life moment in the life of the church. So many moments are really pivotal in the life of the church because we are the holy people God calls us to. Please, avail yourselves of these opportunities to pray together and to pray to God for his divine direction.